But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then they shall fast. This is Matthew chapter 9, verse 15. Sin is the only evil, the greatest evil, the source of all other evils. Compendium Catechism of the Catholic Church, 57. In Deliver Us from Evil, Pope Paul VI, he said that sin is the entry of influence of Satan in man. Sin is the cause of tribulations, catastrophes, earthquakes, famines, plagues, and wars. In the state of mortal sin, we lose sanctifying grace, we lose God in us. This is the reason why our loving God chastised Sodom and Gomorrah with fire from the sky, because their sins of sodomy is abominable before God. This is also the reason why God threatened to destroy Nineveh through the prophet Jonah if they do not repent from their sins. When the bridegroom is taken from them, then they will fast. When God was abandoned by the Ninevites because of their heinous crimes, he sent Jonah to warn them of destruction. The king of Nineveh promptly obeyed God and decreed fasting to all, and God relented in his plan to destroy the Ninevites. And the men of Nineveh believed in God, and they proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least. When God saw their deeds, that they turned from their wicked way, then God relented concerning the calamity which he had declared he would bring upon them. And he did not do it. Jonah 3, verse 5 and 10. When we commit mortal sins, we abandon God, and Satan makes us an easy plunder. Lent calls us to repent before Almighty God through prayer, fasting, and good works. Fasting is the soul of prayer. Mercy is the lifeblood of fasting. So if you pray, fast. If you fast, show mercy. If you want your petition to be heard, hear the petition of others. If you do not close your ear to others, you open God's ear to yourself. St. Peter Chrysologus. In March 27, 1942, Blessed Alexandrina da Koska fasted and lasted for 13 years without food or water for the conversion of sinners and the end of World War II. Open quote. You will not take food again on earth. Your food will be my flesh. Your blood will be my divine blood. Your life will be my life. You receive it from me when I unite my heart to your heart. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. John 6, 55, 56. Indeed, on October 31, 1942, after Pius XII heeded the request of Blessed Alexandrina to consecrate the word to the Immaculate Heart in 1945, as predicted, World War II ended because of the fasting of Alexandrina. Blessed Alexandrina's only sustenance was the Holy Eucharist. So ends Alexandrina's account of the medical investigation of her fast. The official report issued by Dr. Enrico Gomez de Arrojo confirmed the prodigy as scientifically inexplicable. The key sentence stated, it is absolutely certain that during 40 days of being bedridden in hospital, the sick woman did not eat or drink. And we believe such phenomenon could have happened during the past months, perhaps the past 13 months leaving us perplexed. 
There we have the certification and the verdict of medical science. But Alexandrina had a more enlightened explanation. She confided to her confessor that our Lord had told her, You are living by the Eucharist alone because I want to prove to the world the power of the Eucharist and the power of my life in souls. In addition to prayer and almsgiving, we need fast. Jesus warns us, there are many demons that can only be cast out by prayer and fasting. Then came the disciples to Jesus secretly and said, why could we not cast him out? But this kind is not cast out, but by prayer and fasting. Matthew 17, 19 and 21. Our Lady of Fatima appealed to us in 1917 that many souls go to hell because no one prays and does penance, among them fasting. While we know that many ascetics fasted for the intention of reparation and saving souls and became saints later, it is however prudent to get first our doctor's advice if we have health issues to fast on one full meal per day or on bread and water throughout Lent can be a challenge but not impossible as I have seen it from other people of the great desire and intention to make reparation. Fasting cleanses the soul, raises the mind, subjects one's flesh to the spirit, renders the heart contrite and humble, it scatters the cloud of concupiscence, quenches the fire of lust, kindles the true light of chastity. St. Augustine Let us pray. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, bind into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.